All right, guys, super excited. I got something for you that's gonna fucking blow your mind. Listen to this story. Every story in our head is actually affecting us more than we think. Everyone on this planet has a story into their head, and this story actually controls them what they're doing unconsciously. So this story is a story that is formed from the past, from the people you've been around, from the circumstances, happenings that has been in your life and where you live, every, the society where you lived and everything has created a story in your head. Yeah, so everyone got it and often it's a negative one. It's like, I'm not worth, I'm not worth loving, I'm not, I'm not going to be in any success, I'm, I'm not good enough, uh, I'm ugly, I, whatever, it can be, it, it can be a long, long story. And this story is, um, when you be aware of what the story is, because now when you're watching this, you have no idea what the story is. You have to, you have to tap into your heart and your subconscious, because when you're tapping into your subconscious, it has all the truth. And the truth always sets you free, as Tony says, right? So the thing with this, uh, to get aware of the story, and when you get aware of the story, you can change the story and then move at a different angle in life. So if you're walking that way and doing some negative stuff in life and you feel bad about yourself or that you maybe feel there is a hole inside of you and you try to fill it with something. Often people will try to fill it with uh, stuff on the outside, on the outside here. But actually, like things and things outside, it will never fulfill the hole you have in here. So this hole can only be filled by you healing from the inside. And you healing from the inside is, dig is digging deeper and deeper inside of yourself so you get aware of what actually is going on inside of here. This was the main biggest problem with me that I've done before. I've been looking on the outside, like always looking on the outside. If I just get this, I get happy. Or if I just do this, I'll be happy. If I just do that, if I buy this stuff, or if I take these drugs, or if I drink this alcohol, or if I, whatever, it will make me happy. But no, it's completely false. You have to heal from the inside. So this story, you keep telling yourself unconsciously, and I'm gonna tell you about how to find the story, and often this is created by something that happened to you. So you, uh, some event happened, some negative event, and then you created a story around it, and that became your truth. So it became your limiting beliefs. And they just grown and grown and grown, and they stacked on top. You probably still live in by the story, but when you release yourself from it, you let it go, the life will fucking change. I can promise you that. And that's the beautiful part about it. You can change. I, in my head, before that, I had no idea. Like, I can't change. This is who I am. This is my ticket in life. I will do whatever. This is... But at the same time, I was like, fuck, no, it can't be this. Because if this is my ticket in life, and I'm supposed to do all this stuff that I don't even want to do in life, and I was struggling like hell, no, I didn't. I couldn't accept it at all. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seek for the truth. And I'm going to find it. And I'm going to change it. And now I'm a part of it. I'm still learning, changing, finding, seeking for stuff. But this is a tool that I found so good. And just do it. Just do it. So when you want an answer from the subconscious mind, you have to be in a really high vibrational state. You have to have high energy. Because the more energy you have in your body, the bigger you will think. And the bigger your dream is. And the bigger your visions. And everything is more positive when the, when the energy is high. Imagine when you wake up in the morning and you're like tired as fuck. And like, like I was this morning and you're like, nah, I don't want to wake up. Kind of. Everything is really slow. The, the brain has been into a 
very slow state and the energy is going really slow and then after a while you wake up and you feel a bit better and if you start to jump on uh, the um, trampoline for example for a while the, the energy goes faster and faster and faster and all of a sudden you're like hey, holy fuck like this in the morning and it's because the energy because you are energy all of your body everything is just energy everything outside is energy so the more energy you get in your body and the more you produce in your body the bigger you will think and when you're supposed to do this exercise you have to have a lot of energy because you want the subconscious mind or your heart to answer for you you're not going to use this part because this this uh, conscious part of the brain the uh, neocortex part like the latest developed brain is not going to find any answers you have to dig deep and you have to you have to trust so the first answer that comes up, if you're asking a question, that's the right answer. You have to just trust. Even though it's a, maybe a bit shameful, maybe some guilt or anger, there's some emotion attached to what, what comes up, it's okay. Just allow the feelings to be there and just, yeah, just allow them to be them and, and let them out if they want to come out, just whatever. If you get angry or if you get sad, you start to cry, cry, do it. This exercise goes like this. You put yourself in a really high state. You jump or you, you, do, you run around and you jump and jump and jump. You do it for a while. So you feel that you're like, holy fuck, you're like this. Then you ask yourself the question, what's my story? And then you just write. And you write and you write and you write. And it has to come from your heart. It's, like it's just, it's, it's going to be in a flow, flow state. Because if you st get stuck in your head, you can stand up, jump a little bit, put your hand on your heart, ask the same question, and then see, see what comes up. And do it again, and do it again, because it's, it's, sometimes it's really hard to actually trust the own like intuition. It's hard to find that when it comes. And what is that? Like You have to be in a flow state. So you got to trust that. And you just write. And then you see what's your story behind that. And then you, when you're aware of the story, you can let go of the story. And then you can rewrite the story. You do the same thing. You jump and you jump and you jump. And then you write your new story. How your life want it to be. How you want it to be. Because when you, and then you can, that's the fun part. But, but the first part is really important to be aware of what actually happened. What actually formed you, what created the story, because it's often a negative story. We pick up other people's shit and then we carry it around and we're like, oh, this belongs to me, oh, this belongs to me. No, it does not. It's other people's shit and just leave it, let go, because this story, it will change your life. I guarantee you. If you feel something inside here that you wanna feel or understand, or just get progress in life, just do it. This story you get aware of, it will completely transform your life. If you do it the right way. You have to be, you have to want it, and you also have to be in a peak state, you have to be in a good state, the energy must flow, and you also have to write, you have to be honest as fuck. Like literally, so the truth must come out. Even though it fucking hurts, write it down. Admit it. Admit the story. Whatever it is, just write it down and t like tell people. This was my story. It was fucking bad. But now, I'm aware of it and I can take the next step. Yeah. So this is how you find out the story in your brain, in your subconscious. It's a fucking useful tool. I can promise you that if you want to use it. I've been using it. I've been changing my life. I can actually read my story. All right, so this is my story. This was what's going on in my head on repeat, unconsciously, and I was behaving after this story. All right, so the old story. To get confirmation and other people's approval and love. To be liked and did stuff for other people without getting anything back. That I couldn't do anything at all to impress on others, have a cool attitude towards others, and win respect. 
So this was my mantra. This was the story that was going on to my head, like around and around and around and around all day. So I was behaving in ways that I didn't want to behave, but this was actually controlling my head. I couldn't do, I was unconscious about it. So I, I couldn't do anything about it. It was a program in my head and it was fucking my life up. But now I understand it had to happen for me to get to this point. But if you change it faster, you don't need to suffer for that long, right? The news story. Okay, I'm going to tell you the news story. An adventure that never runs out. That's filled with excitement and a lot of experiences. But even a red uh, line of love through it. And a mission to help others and create new relationships and lifelong friendships. A life that I live after my terms. Isn't that story better? Holy fuck, yes. So now, when I'm out there, my life is an adventure. That's why I fly around and I'll do this shit all the time. Because my life is an adventure and I love helping and my mission is to serve others and help others. That's my core. My, my belief is like this. And when you change it, everything changes. So it went from a fucking disaster to an adventure. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Alright, so next time I will actually bring up something maybe completely different. I don't know. We'll see what comes up. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.